your arms on the knees. Close your eyes. Observe your breathing. Observe as you breathe in, stomach comes out, expand your chest. And as you breathe out, pull your stomach in and breathe out long. Do this for some time. As you breathe in, expand your chest, stomach out. And as you breathe out, pull your stomach in and breathe out for long. at four different levels. First level is high pitch, promotion of who is strong and big more. Feel the vibrations from navel to the toe region. For that, breathe out completely. And breathe in deeply and chat. Oh. Second level, middle pitch. Promotion of O and Ma is same. Feel the vibrations from navel to the throat region. For that, breathe out completely. And breathe in deeply. And chant. Third one, low pitch. Promotion of ma is longer than ku. Feel the vibrations from throat to the head region. For that, breathe out completely. And breathe in deeply. And chant. Oh. Fourth one, at the mental level, there is no proportion of O and Ma. Feel the vibrations throughout your body. For that, breathe out completely. And breathe in deeply. And chant in your mouth. Bring your hands in a massage in front of the chest. Little chant or slow. You can repeat it in your mind. 
As you come to the center, breathe in. As you twist to one side, you can breathe out and twist. And then keep breathing normal. One more time. And relax. Now again, take your left hand on the right knee. Breathe and take your hand, right hand up. Breathe out. Bend the left side. And hold. Keep your hands straight. And feel the stretch on the sides. Keep breathing normal. And breathe in. Breathe out. Hands down. And again, right hand on the left knee. Breathe in, hands up. Breathe out, bend to the right side. Keep your hands straight, go bend at the elbow. And keep breathing normal. Don't look down. Keep looking towards the ceiling or upwards. Breathe in and breathe up. One more time. Left hand on the right knee. Breathe in, keep your right hand up and breathe out, bend to the left. Breathe in and breathe out. And right hand on the left knee. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. This can be practiced four to five times depending on the time and the level. So what normally happens is that we always we do forward bend. I mean, that's a normal activity that we have. Backward bend is very rare. 
So it's chain and lateral sides is also very thin. So that's why I'm including this twisting and sideways then so that this helps in the uh, strengthening of the uh, weak back. Now let's come on all four. On all four position. Ensure that your shoulder and wrist is in one line and hips and knee is in one line. And the distance between both the knees is your hip distance. So this we are doing is Mantarasa. So push your abdominal region down, chin up, chest out. And keep your facial muscles, that is the eyebrows, your forehead, all completely relaxed. So as you breathe in, you can take your chin up, and as you breathe out, bring your chin down to the chest, and raise your shoulder, round your back, and tuck your pelvic in. So this has to be counted. And try if you can press your chin to the chest. And breathe it, chin up, chest out, shoulder behind, push your abdominal region down. And breathe out, chin to chest, raise your shoulder, round your back. So Marjorasan is good for the back and as well as if anybody is having a thyroid problem, it helps in uh, balancing the uh, thyroid condition. It activates the, uh, uh, the, uh, the functioning of the thyroid glands. So when you move your chin up and down, the stretch that you get around your neck, so it helps in that way. So next we will be doing So this is called as to bend the knee. So this is my right hand and the right leg. You put your left hand down. Keep your left shoulder down, left side of the head down. And stretch your right hand up. Try to take it behind the ears if possible. And feel the twist around the waist. And keep breathing normal. And come up and change. Now your right hand is between the left hand and the leg. Your left, right shoulder down, right side of the head down. And stretch your left hand up behind the ears if possible. This is given a twist around the spine. Okay. And this also you can practice four to five times depending on the time and the good for you. Now, next we will do is a Sedhuva Tasan, which is a bridge pose. So you can lie down on your back. So your hands besides your body, palms facing down, legs folded at the knee, your 
keels are getting closer to the buttocks but not touching the buttocks. Distance between both the knees, that is the hip distance. So keep your shoulder and neck relaxed and slowly as you breathe in, take your hips up. Your hips are coming up slowly, vertically by vertebrae. And kick it up as much as you can. So that your spine is completely off the back of the floor. So as you go up, breathe in. You can squeeze your buttocks, pull your stomach in, and hold this position. And as you breathe out, slowly come down. Touching the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring your awareness to the uh, you know the spine coming off the floor and coming down and touching the mat. So bring your awareness to this movement. We'll do it one more time. Breathe in, slowly lift up, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly observe each vertebrae coming off the floor. Off the mat. Push your knees down and lift your hips up as you breathe in. And take it up as per your capacity. You can't go up too much, it's fine. Just hold it as your capacity. You can hold your stomach in, squeeze your buttocks, and keep breathing normal. And slowly breathe out and bring your hips down, touching the vertebrae. And slowly come back. Another practice, one more. Now we can bring both the feet closer. Toes together, heels together, knees together, interlock of fingers, have a knee And turn both the legs to one side. Now I'm turning it to the left and turn your head to the right. Don't lift the elbows or the shoulders up and press one knee over the other. And breathe in, come to the center. Adjust your position if you want to can adjust your legs. And breathe out, go to the right, put the legs together to the right. One feet should be over the other, one knee over the other. And press one knee nicely so that you get good stretch around your waist. Come to the center. So lie down on your stomach. You can come in Bakarasan initially to just relax in this position. So one palm over the other and just rest your forehead on it. Now when you want to get started, you can bring your palms closer to the chest and your elbows closer to your body, shoulder behind and hold it down. You can spread your legs a little bit and as you breathe in, push your palms down and lift your shoulder up, chest up and hold. You can either straighten your hand or you can bend it. If you can't come up so much, you can be in position even this way. 
So do it as for your capacity. Hold it. And breathe out and slowly come down. Your elbows will not go out, they'll be closer to your body. And breathe in. And breathe out. Can you get that still knuckle out for And so we turn and come back. So these are the asanas for you can bring your uh, thumb in front of you like this. Okay. At the eye level. And keep it at a distance. And keep gazing at the tip of the thumb for some time. And then gaze at the tip of the nostril, say for 10 cups. Again gaze at the tip of the thumb. And then come to the tip of the nostril. And again to the tip of the thumb. And to the tip of the nostril. Continue doing this for say you can do it for a minute. So this is one practice which we can do for the eyes. And the other eye exercise. Um, if you are continuously uh, exposed to your uh, digital media because of your online schooling or uh, work from home, you know, so whatever the reason uh, that is, if you are using it continuously for a long period of time, every half an hour or one hour, take a break and uh, look outside somewhere far outside your window, uh, look to a, a building or a tree which is far. And look to a building or a tree which is closer. So keep switching your vision from far to close and just gaze outside for some time. Okay, so that will you know relax your eyes and keep blinking. See what happens when we are looking at a particular um, gadget like a TV or a mobile or any such thing, uh, we forget to blink. And that is what is causing the problem. So blame, keep blaming. Whenever you are not for, uh, using any gadgets, blame your eyes. That is very, very important. Keep blinking, blinking, blinking. So every half an hour you make a break and blink a lot. So that is another good thing that you can do. Uh, another thing that we can practice is uh, movement of your eyes. So you can do side to side movement. Don't move your head. So you can see to the right, extreme right, wherever extreme that you can go. And then come to the center. And then go to the extreme left, in the left corner of your eyes. Without moving your neck. Come to the center, then go to the other ex extreme right. Hold it for some time. Okay, this you can do 10 times or you can set a timer for one minute and then up and down. So without moving your neck or head, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, so you can practice this and then we can go circle. So clockwise circle. You can do five clockwise and five reverse. Okay. 
Like that, five clockwise and five reverse.